brain injury does not discriminate by race, gender, or age? Ask Sydney Alvey, one of the many faces of brain injury. My name is Sydney Alvey and I had a motor vehicle accident on Christmas Day 2006. I was a senior in high school. With the whole world ahead of her, Sydney's world changed forever when her car slid off the road and slammed into a tree. I don't remember anything about the wreck. I never remember being in the hospital. She suffered a traumatic brain injury, which robbed her of motor skills and even speech, but not of her will to push forward. I'm not gonna let something that sometimes keeps people down, I'm not gonna let it win. With help from BIAK, she found resources for recovery. There's a lot of people that I wouldn't even have known if it wasn't for BIAK, and they put them in your life to help you through. When you're in a community with people with brain injuries, then a lot of times they have the same problem, so you can actually relate to it and discuss it and see that people, you're, that you're not awkward, that people, there are a lot of people like you. Sydney eventually returned to the school she attended. She spent nine years there as a volunteer helping first graders grow, just as she did right alongside them. Now she has a college degree and a whole new life. Now I go every day and I live on my own and I work a job and I do everything I need to get by in life. So always strive to do more so you never know where I'll be.